Everything in the marine ecosystem is completely interconnected. So if you take the, the top predator or the apex predator out of that equation, it will have a trickle-down effect that affects every little niche of the marine ecosystem. A perfect way to describe this is if you take a case that was in North Carolina. They studied shark populations. As those shark populations began to get fished out, the stingray population, which they were controlling, took off and exploded. Well, everybody likes to eat scallops and clams, those stingrays then devastated the scallop and clam populations because nobody was feeding on the stingrays. These are animals that are controlling stingray populations. These are the animals that are uh, keeping fish populations healthy. Sharks, by nature, are fairly slow to reproduce. They have very few young. They just can't stand up to that type of fishing pressure. Within our lifespan, we might see that these animals do become reproductively extinct. I mean, there's not enough sharks of that species in the wild to reproduce.